All right, welcome back. It's been a minute. We uh, we took a little time out from posting anything major on the channel to uh, get things in order, get a few cars lined up so we had some better content, try to get the shop a little warmer, get ready for the winter, put a new door on, got a new garage door coming. So I appreciate everyone hanging out with me and big day today, 200 subscribers. Watching my dumb ass talk about cars and try to Try to work on these things, but really, not so much. But I am I'm very grateful for all of you guys for checking it out. And the one Grand National video creeping up on 5,000 views. That's amazing. But between my Corvette guys, my Buick guys, and my Lowrider guys, you all have been awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. I uh, really do. So thank you very much. And uh, we're going to do a little work on a C5 today. Traction control light came on, and... I think I got the fix for it, so let's jump in there and take a look. Okay, inside the C5 here, Darth Revan, and we got the traction control light on. Push the button, nothing happens. I reset it down here, but the little info screen tells me service traction control soon. So I jumped online, figured out, I think, how to fix it, and we're going to give it a whirl. Some of you may recognize those gauges. They were supposed to go into old nightmare sitting over here, but nah, no need. When I plugged them in, the gauges in there started to work. And so it's fine. Nightmare's a cruiser. The, uh, the system here, I like it in the vet. I like it the way it looks. And I like having a little bit of information right there where I can see it real quick, so. We are going to try and tackle this traction control light tonight. I'm going to clean this old girl up. She's been down for a minute. Just got a new harmonic balancer put in. No more squeaking belts and wobbles and shakes. So, pretty stoked about that. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this All traction right. control light on. So, here's the plan. We're going to unhook that battery right there. And we're going to come over here and sit at this desk. And we're going to drink this delicious adult beverage right about to that line. And when I get to that line, which is going to take me a minute or three, that's a 20-ouncer. You know, it's Friday. We're not messing around. And yeah, I got a Yoohoo too, and a Kool-Aid, and a couple of cheeseburgers because I'm 46, and that's what I eat. But we're going to we're just gonna let the battery sit off. And supposedly, magically, by letting that battery be unconnected for... 10 minutes, maybe. Um, it's supposed to reset that light. So we're going to give that a shot. And we're going to clean up the engine because it's filthy. It's been in the shop. Um, and you can see a bunch of shiny new parts on there. But uh, she was down for about a month. And that really stunk because this old girl here is my daily driver. So not having this really, really set me back. But she's all good now. I had a real mechanic take this thing apart, put a new harmonic balancer on it, a couple of new adjusters, new belt, a couple of new pulleys, you name it, pretty much we did it. So she's all done, she's running great, couldn't be happier to finally have this old girl back. And now we just gotta clean it up, get that traction control light off, and then yeah, we'll see what comes next. Hard at work here. So. Let's jump on. We're uh, ooh, maybe two sips down. Long way to go. Hard work, hard work, hard work. Ooh, don't show the name. YouTube will take this down. Yep. It's tough. It's tough. Someone's got to do the work, though, you know? Oh, look at that bird shit right on there. Son of a... I got to clean this thing. It is awful. You Corvette guys, don't judge me. I drive this thing every day. I bought it two years ago. Actually, two years ago today, 
I bought this car. 21,000 miles. I am proud to tell you I have 48,000 miles on this thing today. I drive it in the winter. I drive it in the rain. I drive it all the time. This car makes a great daily driver. Peppy, let me drop this thing into sixth gear. I'm getting 30 miles a gallon. So, no problem. Corvettes are not just for sitting in your garage looking pretty. Although it is fun when they're in the garage looking pretty. Don't get me wrong. But it's even funner when you're just out there driving them. Going through the gears. Having a good time. So that's it. Boy, the windshield is dirty. <laughs> like I said, she's been down. But she's up. And we're getting back to work here. So once we get to that line, we'll check the battery. Hook it back up. Okay. Things happened. But, uh, yeah. I think it's time to check this thing. Oh, old school. My first low rider. Yeah, buddy. Summer Slam 98. First place. Not too shabby for a 19 year old kid. All right, let's, uh, let's get this battery hooked back up here real quick. Tighten this up, and then we'll jump in. Okay. Battery. Pretty good and tight. I didn't mess with the positive. She got a little dust off her. Let's jump in this old girl. Well, you know what? Let's crack the garage door first. That's enough. Just let a little oxygen in. Okay. here at the Rothschild Best Fit Garage. We fail, and then we gotta take it to the professionals. Oh well, can't say we didn't try. We failed. There's actually something wrong with the traction system. Son of a butter nut squash. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this little one. This is, um, this has been great. <laughs> this is how it this is how it goes service traction system yeah I see you bud thanks a lot well you know what we still got to have a delicious beverage oh I probably should open that garage door a little bit more okay yep, it's a little, a little rich in here but uh there's the new door I'm gonna put that on and so, whew, yeah. That's going to do it, I guess. Well, we tried, but at least we cleaned her up. This thing still hasn't moved. Actually, it did move. I drove her on the block, and uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. Oh, yeah, you can. There's a giant puddle of, of differential fluid. Yeah, this thing is completely 
completely whacked. I may have to get a whole rear for it. I don't even know this damn thing, but we knew it was a nightmare when we started this little voyage. So, so be it. I may just uh, take that V8 right there, pop it in there, new rear, run everything back fresh, make this thing a little rotter, but we'll see. That's a story for another day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.